I'm having a really fun photo shoot today. I always like have to carry with me snacks. Your stomach is big enough for pregnancy shoot. Okay, so Allegra planning to make showing the bump today. It's really convenient because you guys always ask uh, what I wear, where to buy it. What's up guys? I'm on my way to a photo shoot. I'm having a really fun photo shoot today for my Instagram. Sometimes I like to do those creative shoots just to like make my feed more interesting, make the creative styling ideas come true and just like a lot of other things that comes to it. <laughs> a good practice for me not forget how to model as well, right? Even so, I model for like basically more than 13 years. Sometimes if you have like this big break, you get a little stiff. Like with anything, you need practice, you need constant reminder. I just got a takeout from Pura Vida because I'm one, two, have food with me. You guys know I told you I have this problem with blood sugar where like my blood sugar drops really low if I'm hungry, so I really can get hungry. So I kind of always like have to carry with me snacks, drinks, food. I have it all. I have it all. <laughs> you can count on me. <laughs> I'm very excited for the shoot. I'm actually shooting today with Ukrainian photographer that is here for just like a short period of time. I've been planning to shoot with her for so long and it's just never happened. And finally, we're like making it happen. I'm excited. So let's see how this is gonna come out. Okay guys, so we are on our second look. We are shooting pregnancy. We didn't plan to shoot pregnancy, but she saw me, she's like, your stomach is big enough for pregnancy shoot, so we're doing it. And this gold dress is just giving all the pregnant goddess vibes. <laughs> this is our photographer. We finally get to shoot together. Uh, and amazing makeup and hair, so just glowing today. <laughs> okay, so Allegra planning to make a little art gallery with all of her And then, and then we're going to put it here and then we need to put it on the other side and then we need to put some tape over here and then, and then it's going to be like that. Okay, so you're planning to put a rope mm -hmm. all over your room? No, not all over, just just to, from here to there? Yeah. Do you think do you think the lengths will, will reach? Of course it will. Look how long it is. Look. Did you check? Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to reach. Please? It is going to reach. Look, from there, let's see. Put a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's okay. See. Okay, don't go up. I'm just gonna check your feet. Okay, little one. Oh, it's already moving. That's it. Let's see. It's not reaching. I have to. We have to get a smaller distance. So, what if we do it from the kitchen to the chair? The kitchen to the chair. Yeah. Are you sure it's great because I have so much of them? Sure, we can try that still. No? no, because it's not gonna work. No, no, I think it's gonna work. I've been wearing today this comfortable look, which is this button shirt that I just got for myself. I absolutely love it. It's such a like, good, flattering fit. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it over something like I did today. I love the color and it's made out of 100% cotton, which is really nice, especially during summer showing the bump today with this athletic what is called jumpsuit and i kind of style it with this big chunky earring just to make it a little bit more fashionable less i would say sporty i started to link all of my looks on this platform called ltk if you don't know it yet check it out it's kind of like an instagram feed 
with all direct links I get affiliate uh, percentage on it so getting rewarded for my work but it's really convenient because you guys always ask uh, what I wear where to buy it so you can just go there I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description of this video you can go there and shop all of my recent looks <laughs> Right? Okay. I cannot not to show you what she did. But I'm not finished yet because I need more. You need more? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this gallery. Be careful, honey, with this because it's gonna fall otherwise if you're gonna keep pulling it. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this gallery. What's the name of the gallery? Hmm. Did you come Drawings up? Drawing the drawings. Drawings the drawings? Mm -hmm. Alegrina's drawings the drawings? <laughs> <laughs> I made myself a ginger tea. Yep, and Allegra has one too. Funny enough, it's actually real ginger tea. I buy like a fresh ginger from the store. I like to make my own ginger tea. I don't like the packet one. I feel like it's not strong enough. The key is to make like a really good ginger tea that is like spicy, is to grind it on the grinder. You know the grinder that you usually grind the cheese with, like the, the rough one? So you just like grind it, the ginger like a good amount and you put it, oh, it fell, but we're gonna fix it. So you put it in the hot water and you squeeze one lemon there. You put honey to taste and it's so good. And can you imagine Allegra actually likes it too? Mom, Cheers. Okay, let me help you. We need a taste. So if you guys are wondering what we're eating today, I'm showing you the lazy way of preparing homemade, homemade dinner. I buy this roasted rosemary chicken in, um, in Fresh Market in Miami. It's really good. They do it daily there. I honestly not sure if it's like 100% healthy, but for those days when you don't want to cook, I'm sure this is healthier than ordering from somewhere. I'm planning to make a Greek salad. I've been lately craving really like a Greek fresh salad and also making those potatoes. I already prepped kind of like thin sliced potatoes like that and I lay them flat. I'll show you in a second in the pan and just put it in an oven and also I add tomatoes and some onions so we're gonna have basically chicken potatoes in the oven and a salad I usually that's how I do it I do protein I do garnish and I do a sa one salad or sometimes if I feel inspired I do two but <laughs> today <laughs> inspiration is not there for drinks I also got this like sugar-free lemonade that made with stevia I really like that one and Allegra likes it too so that's kind of what I'm preparing for today by the way guys if you want to find a detailed recipe for this specific dish exactly potatoes there are videos on my channel under what I eat in a day and you can find a lot of good recipes there so make sure to check it out by the way I'm listening to my followers I got parchment paper because you guys all been saying to me how bad is the aluminium foil so I listened I switched now. I honestly love running a channel because I don't know everything, so I learn along the way through you guys too. I try to drain water and just kind of put them dry. The reason why I put them in the water because I wanted to prep things, but I didn't want for potatoes to turn dark so if that's the case you want to prep things you just put them in the fresh water then you drain them and they are good to go guys okay, so this is how it should look it. like before i'm sending in the oven a really delicious easy recipe the prep takes a little bit of time but once you're done the prep it's like two minutes and done guys we are showered allegra is showered i wanted to share with you for moms uh, allegra is currently going to a school that follows montessori program so during summer they recommended me to kind of um keep going with the same learnings that they had at school so she kind of not gonna forget everything she learned and i got those amazing books it's called montessori julia palmarala Palma Rolla. It comes with reading or math, 
this one is reading so it's it's exactly the way they learn the school so it's phonetic so they learn like C, uh, B, K, lemon K, squeeze. K or B and then it's a fun games where you have to like attach the picture to each word that she reads she's not really mastered reading yet but i feel like <laughs> just showing her how the letters and sounds are connected and how you make like the whole word from it kind of like a song in a way for example here i showed her this is letter e right uh it's kind of like e but it's e right it's it's reading as e let's read together e e e e l l f f what is it l f elf brava so you kind of like give her an idea of sounds and then she kind of like guessing the word and that's how you're supposed to do it so we are doing it now every evening i dedicate to it maybe like 10 15 minutes i don't want it to do too long so she doesn't get too bored or i don't want her to hit it uh, so we're usually doing 15 minutes of this montessori phonetic book and then we're doing uh, just a regular reading book whatever she likes that's kind of a tradition we we have right now usually we used to do like two books now we just do a workbook and a regular book okay guys allegra is asleep i mean i put her to bed i'm not sure if she's asleep for the past like few days i've been putting her to bed a little later and in the morning she had a hard time to wake up so like today she's going to sleep on time so those are the potatoes that came out of the oven i have to serve them right now honestly it's just funny like to observe how funny that pregnancy makes you more feminine in a way i noticed that when i'm pregnant I'm I want to be more home I want to like take care of home I want to cook I want uh, obviously to spend time with my child I mean I always do but you know like your mind when you're at work you can't really focus but thinking like to come back home and spend time with your child just like a different type of energy surrounding me I don't know if it's just my observation or everyone have that I guess it's a hormones I'm definitely much more sentimental, like I was reviewing all of Allegra's pictures, I did yesterday a family album, was crying while I was doing it. <laughs> nature is wild, guys. It's funny how nature prepares your body and your mind for a new member of a family that you will have to take care of 24-7 so i really feel like it's coming it's really funny and honestly that's one of the reasons why i was like postponing the second pregnancy because i knew that as soon as i'm gonna get pregnant i kind of will start slowly disconnect from work which is you know there's positive and negatives to it but yeah <laughs> this is how i feel anyway guys i'm going to continue preparing the dinner and i'm thanking you for being here with me i hope you find this homey vlog nice and informative and just like sometimes i create those vlogs without really a script or an idea behind that and sometimes i'm doubting like if they're good but honestly i feel like those kind of unplanned vlogs let you get to see me in a filter natural way and also like get us closer together anyway guys if you have any ideas if you want to know about my pregnancy more i uh, highly appreciate all the suggestions for the video ideas thank you so much for being here i love you guys thank you